All right, boys, main event time here, UFC Fight Night, and this will close us out for tonight. We made decent time for a pretty long episode. Uh, let's see. In the main event of this UFC Fight Night, in the women's flyweight division, Amanda Hibas taking on former champion Thug Rose Nama Yunus. So, introducing first, out of the blue corner, <laughs> Thug Rose Nama Yunus. Really needing no introduction to MMA fans and diehards especially. 31 years old. Born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Fighting out of Arvada, Colorado. Her record as a pro stands at 11-6. and six. She's got to be way up there for like fewest fights to a championship. Because uh, fair thought. After all this time, her, her pro record still only stands at... Uh, a pretty a pretty small number of fights in in uh, seventeen pro fights, yep. less than twenty uh, career fights, and she's won the belt what twice? Twice, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. she's such a star. Uh, she is nine and five under the UFC banner, and she is very wow. much looking to right the ship here uh, on a three fight losing skid. Here, uh, the three losses were against Carla Esparza. I believe that was for the belt, right? That's when she lost the belt, right? Correct. And that's that was one of the worst fights ever. The worst fight ever, not one of. It, that was the, the worst, worst fight, fight ever. Jillian Robertson choked her out, and then Manon Fior. Uh, Who choked her out? Jillian Robertson. No, she did not. Lost choked her naked choke. She she did not fight Jillian Robertson. You might be looking at awesome. a jujitsu match, dude. Oh yeah, Tapology oh, what do you want? Topology, yeah, Topology, yeah, yeah. Topology doesn't give a shit. They'll 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 put in a five k in there if they want. No, to. No, and they, you can sort it out by clicking there. off grappling. I don't. And know And that's why correct. Now that I think about it, I actually remember when she lost that grappling match. I do too. That was so do I. Recent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that makes way in... more sense. Now. Even when you said three in a row, I was like three in a row. I thought it was two, but yeah, now we're My all you know, everything's Sorry, clicking. Topology. I wish there was a way to default turn that off on Tapology. Anyway, definitely still looking to write the ship because she suffered back-to-back -back losses for the first time in her career in MMA, losing to Esparza and then now Fior. And here we go, taking on, introducing out of the red corner, Amanda <laughs> Hibas. She is the 30-year-old fighting out of Brazil. Her pro record stands at 12 and 4. Let's see here. Seven and three under the UFC banner. And she's coming off of a nice win against Luana Pinheiro back in uh, November. Okay, here we go. Omar, start it off. Give us your take and your pick for this main event. This is a really, really difficult fight to pick. And I think the reason this is so difficult is because Rose has been out for... Um, she's been out for a little while, even prior to the Minone Fiora fight. But it just... It feels like her activity is just not there. Um, granted, it wasn't like she was the most active fighter back then, but it just felt like we always saw Rose fighting somewhere. Um, and for whatever reason, just between the Carla Esparza fight and even this last Manon Fiora fight, which she looked like the smaller fighter, she looked like she was getting out uh, out muscled in that fight. It, it, I don't know. It just it just hasn't really seemed like Rose has been there. So. It is difficult for me to pick Rose at this point. It's it's difficult to know where she's at mentally. Um, were, were there issues with her and Perillo? Because I feel like there were issues with her, Perillo, and this dude. Um, what's his name? Perillo? Do you mean to say Trevor Whitman? Yes. That's what I meant, actually. Yes. Yeah. Trevor Whitman and... Um, what happened against Pat Fury? Barry. One of them didn't corner her against Fury. Tre either Trevor or Pat. I'm forgetting who was not there. I guess I think it was Fjord. Trevor because I think Pat kept telling Trevor or kept trying to tell Trevor what to do or kept going yeah. against the advice that Trevor was giving or something along those lines. So like the coach's thing wasn't right. really vibing. And obviously Pat is, you know, the husband slash trainer and has been for forever. So I think he just took precedent. Um, I don't know. I really don't know what to make a rose, man. I you know, and it's not like Amanda is. Somebody that I could count on, hand, you know, my eyes closed either as far as that's concerned, which is really a big problem. And and what makes this fight, I guess, equally interesting and also equally difficult to pick. Um, yeah. So I really don't know. 
Amanda Heboss could absolutely be on and could really tear some shit up. Her combos can be fantastic. Her speed could be fantastic. And then there are days where she gets taken down and days where it doesn't look like she's fighting at all. And, and there's no combos and there's no volume and she's just standing there and getting beat. Um, and so it's, it's difficult to figure out which, where either one of these women are going to, which one of these women are going to show up. So I guess I'll stick with Rose. I, I guess just Rose is, has just fought some of the best of the best in the division and has been for forever. Um, and I'm going to try to trust her, her experience in this one. So I'm going to go with Rose here by unanimous decision. I'll go next. And I will say that I will go against Omar here. And I think that Amanda Hebos is going to have a moment here. And on paper, at least the biggest win of her career over the former champ and beloved thug Rose Nama Yunus. Uh, I think that uh, I envision Hebas totally being on. I love what you said about her kind of sometimes being on and sometimes not. But I think she's going to be on for this one. How could you not be? And I think I see her being a little bit bigger and more physical than Rose Namajunas. I think she's going to get it to the ground. Rose has had always has had uh, an underrated ground game and great submissions. Uh, she really became known more and more as a great kickboxer as her career went on. Uh, but that being said, I think he is going to have the advantage on the ground. I think she's going to out physical Rose. And I think that he is going to cruise to a five round decision here. So UD for he Mark cruise. Wow. Very bold. Um, all right. He is the underdog. She is plus 200. Rose is minus 250 as the favorite. Um, two inches of height for Rose. One inch of reach for Hebas. I love this fight. Um, you guys know that I love him on the Hebas. I, I'm always stressing how I think she's continually underrated in both of these divisions. I prefer her at straw weight, but same goes for flyweight. Um, and I'm happy to see her get an opportunity like this against a big name and to main event a card. But with that said, I don't think that I love this matchup for Amanda. Um, what makes her great is that she is aggressive and that she's a threat to finish most girls wherever her advantage lies in that particular fight, whether it's on the feet against a particular opponent or on the mat against a particular opponent. She knows how to leverage it. She'll hurt you in both places. She's a problem in both places. But against Rose, I don't know where that advantage lies. Like She's certainly not a better striker than Rose. Is her jit better? I mean, maybe by a smidge if we're if we're trying to see it her way, but I, I don't think I see her tapping Rose Namajunas. And the problem for me with Hibas is that she gets hit a lot and cleanly. And she's tough as shit, so normally she can push through it. But it's not a 15-minute fight, first off. It's a main event. And it's a higher level. And 25 minutes in a cage against a striker as technical and as precise as Rose, who will set you up the way that Rose will, it's a lot of minutes to not get hit cleanly. And I don't know if Rose is going to be winning the fight or losing the fight or what, but I just think that over those 25 minutes, she will catch Hebas a few different times, and eventually it's going to be one time too many. So I will go Rose Nam Yunus round four TKO. Ooh, 